corner, Stephen the Lob Hammer. of the night. Stephen Lacken. It's on the Costa del Sol, a taxi driver. He's got a big test here tonight against an excellent fighter by the name of Richie Joyce. Big support as well. And you can hear the uh, noise level lifted. Stephen's 31 years old, weighed in at 81 kilos, five foot six with a 60 inch reach. His opponent tonight, in the blue corner, please welcome Richie Magic Man Joyce. Is that me, uh, Dermot, or is there a little? Paunch there around the waist of Richie Joyce. A little paunch, but he looks cool. He looks nice and cool and composed. Final fight of the night. Richie weighed in at 75 kilos, five foot nine, with a 65 inch reach. This is your final bout of the night. Well, the red corner have won every fight this evening, so we'll see if the Blue corner can pull one out of the bag. They've certainly dominated here. The red corner. Can it all change now? Richie Joyce, is he the man to do it? They look extremely well matched here. Very little difference uh, height-wise, weight-wise. Steve Lacken looks keen here, he's listening to his corner. Well, we may well get an explosive start here, Dermot, because Lacken's waiting in the centre like a, a raging bull here in Spain. And lands with a good right there. Yeah, this is fireworks, these two. Oh. And the Joyce nice family, one. just uh, alongside us here, are going absolutely crazy supporting their man. Early words from the official. Looks a really good match up this. Good right from Joyce. Lacking looking for the body punches here. Joyce is picking him off as he's coming in, he's counter punching him. It's a good left. Yeah, great left. Right again. And again. And Joyce felt that one. Joyce is unhappy there. And the referee's uh, talking uh, to Larkin here and saying no more of that on the back of the head. And I think the referee's unhappy as well. Larkin dipping down far too low. Another value for money match. Well, it's very even. Nothing between these two fighters in this first round of three. And that was a punch on the back of the head from Joyce this time. Well, there have been fireworks out there, and the referee is laying the law down here to both fighters. Over well, right what there. an opening round that is. Nothing between them. I've got that Dermot Craven yeah. as a, a complete tie. Yeah, I'd say that's an even round that for both of them. Joyce was picking his punches a bit more carefully. Lacken's wild, he's over keen. Yeah, Lacken looks to be more of the scrapper than Joyce. Joyce looks to be perhaps more of a boxer than Lacken, but Lacken's quite an animal out there and He's more than happy to mix it. Yet yeah, you thought it would have been the other way around. 
As I know Stephen Lacken and he can box, he's a good boxer. He's boxed amateur. Danny's telling him off there, giving him the right act. Joyce with a little smile, he's got most of his family screaming ringside here in this final fight of the night. Oh, good buddy oh, good uh, combination body shots. from Joyce. Great body shots. And terrific punching from both fighters. And Joyce on top early in this second round. Blackham won't be denied though, he's going forward. He's taking the play away from Joyce. And that's a good right from really? Joyce. Lacken took it well, didn't budge. Takes a left oh, and a right as well, and Joyce is getting on top in round two. He's forcing the pace. He's actually saying to Lacken, come yeah. on, pal, is that all you've got? There's a lot of talking going on between the two fighters. Joyce for me on top here in round two and good body punches good as well from the Irishman. Right to the body, right to the head from Joyce. He's picking his shots. That's Ooh. a better left though from Lakin. Lands one of his own there. He needs to up it now in this last 60 seconds of round two. Otherwise, he's going to fall behind. Unofficially. We've got it tied in round one, but Joyce certainly on top in round two. It's a good left there, though, from Lakin, the jab. And that's better, again, from the man in red. And what's happened there? Oh, he's, Joyce is he's holding his, shoulder. his, his he's left shoulder. His shoulder. What's happened here? Something, a punch came in, I think, and it struck his left shoulder, and immediately you could see the left arm go limp. And the corner looked concerned that the bell has gone. Unofficially, I've got Joyce has taken that round, which would put him in front over the two rounds we've had so far. But concerned faces here in the blue corner because Richie Joyce has definitely damaged the shoulder what's going on here Dermot he looks like he's pulled his shoulder and um, he's overextended his arm and he's pulled his shoulder a little bit the paramedics are having a look at him now and trying to straighten it and feel well this would up. be a terrible shame because it's been a fantastic fight and this this fellow for me Again, unofficially on our scorecard, he's in front. Oh, he's up. He wants it. Yeah, that's a good sign, that. Yeah. He's, he lifted that left arm above his head there, so that's good news. don't think he'd be able to do that if there was something extremely serious. He, he, didn't, he wouldn't wait for the referee. He just dived in. He's so keen. Well, Larkin will no doubt try and use a little body weight onto the, uh, the left arm here. He knows that's a weak point right now. It's the one that Joyce is using. That's oh, a good right. right, right. It's the good one he's right. using for his jab, and he looks to still be in trouble with that left arm. Unable to f throw the uh, the jab, and now he's in trouble. Try. He's just fighting with one hand here, really, is Joyce. And you can see that still moving, the left arm. And the referee wants the corner to have a look at it. I can't believe he's given a count there to Joyce. The referee's checking to see if he's going to be well, okay. He's is he going to be okay? Does he want to continue? The medic's up here again. I must just tell you, there is an ambulance uh, here, very well organised in case of any uh, serious injury. There are doctors ringside as well. And the Costa del Sol Hospital, within five or ten minutes' drive from where we're, we're sitting, nothing's been required up until now. What a shame this is, Dermot, because it's been a terrific fight. Great fight, great matchup. 
every single matchup this evening has been. Well, he's getting a standing count. I'm not convinced I agree with the referee on this occasion. He's had a terrific night of Senor uh, Jimenez. I'm not sure he's made the right decision there. And again, Lakin, look at that roughing up Joyce and leaning again on that left arm of the Irishman. Lacken really wants this. He's pulling out all the stops. Trailing, but has he got his uh, nose in front here now, the man in red? Well, I think he's winning this round. This could be mighty, mighty close. Yeah. Well, well, that could go either way. Terrific fight, terrific Great fight. end. I'd have to give it to Joyce. He well, tried to be impartial. For me, he uh, the first round was was a tie, and then Joyce took the second. And it's just a question as to uh, this last round tie to the call. Was it a draw, perhaps? If that's the case, then Joyce will take it on points. Lacken really wanted that. He boxed well. He needed to calm down a little bit, work off his jab, because I've seen him. Seen him. He's a very, very good boxer. The but it's anyone's the, fight. The judges are taking a long time here with the decision. They've been pretty fast tonight, but looking ringside, they're still waiting for the decision. Paul, this could go either way. Well, Joyce had a couple of counts, don't forget, from the referee as well. That will have been noted by the judges. Um, for the first time, I don't think either boxer is 100% certain which way it will which go. Which way will this will go? Now, have we got the score sheet here? The referee is uh, looking around as well and still not fully clear as to who has won this final bout and what has been a magnificent night's entertainment here in this wonderful hotel the Andalusia Plaza Hotel here in Porto Venus. Is this it? I think it is. Long delay. don't think the crowd would be too bothered. They just want to make sure it's the right decision. And uh, Nervy times here. They both want to win this. And the judges are, are talking here behind the referee. You can see a long discussion. They feel they've won it in the blue corner. There's the Joyce family ringside, all waiting Ladies for the result. We have a unanimous decision. Judge Harwood, 27-29. Jimenez, 28-30. And Perez, 26-28. Your winner, Dave. Joyce and Dave Joyce takes it in the blue corner well I thought he just shaded it to be honest he slowed down a little bit when he had that injury to the left arm but it was the good work he did in round two that made the difference Dermot I, I thought it was a bit closer than that I wouldn't, I wouldn't have given it as far apart but first one Joyce come over from Ireland he deserved the decision There you can see the moment that uh, Joyce had problems with that left arm, but going on eventually uh, to take the bout against uh, a very courageous Stephen Lacker. Well done, lads. What a fantastic fight. And before we say anything, I just want to present you with the fight of the night. So well done. The absolute fantastic fight. So you as well, both involved in the fight of the night. How do you feel after that? Gutted really, gutted for. It's one of them. Richie's a good, strong, strong lad. And how do you feel? Over the moon, happiest than ever. Well, it was a great fight, so you're entitled to be happy. It was very close. You both earned each other's respect. He's going to get it on again. Yeah, definitely. If he wants you. Yeah. Operation, no problem. <laughs> well, listen. Well done, lads.